Hello everyone. As part of our Rising Damp research project, we built two walls using brand new old style bricks from a brick factory. We placed them in some trays and filled them with water, one with sea water and the other one with plain tap water. And just like in actual old buildings, the water started to rise. It gradually reached half a meter, going all the way up to the top of our test walls. You can see the wetting effect on the color of the bricks. We have monitored the condition of the walls in three different ways. One, with embedded electronic moisture sensors. Two, with microwave meter. This is the newest damp meter technology. It shoots a microwave beam deep into the walls and reads its reflection, similar to ground penetrating radar. Three, with drilled core measurements, also known as gravimetric testing, the most accurate method, the golden standard worldwide. Let's see the results. The embedded electronic sensors placed vertically have clearly registered the rise of water, one sensor after the other. Microwave meter measurements have also captured the wetting of the walls all the way up, initially low readings throughout, then later on high readings throughout to the full height of the test walls. Drilled core measurements had a challenging aspect because this type of measurement does not allow for using and testing a drilled sample more than once. We found a solution around this problem in a scientific paper published by an Italian university, which described a solution that allows reusing the same sample indefinitely, minimizing any measurement errors. Our drilled core readings have also confirmed the wetting of the walls from around 0.4% absolute moisture content of the dry bricks to about 15% of the wet bricks. All three measurement methods have uniformly confirmed the wetting of the walls all the way up. The second thing which I would like to address here is the electronic nature of rising damp or various electronic phenomena associated with rising damp, a little-known aspect of this subject. Once walls get damp, electronic voltages and potentials start appearing in them just like that. A positive potential in the order of millivolts, tens or hundreds of millivolts, can be measured inside damp walls. These values don't sound very much, but they have a significant effect. This electronic aspect of rising damp is virtually unknown in the building industry. The research on this is very scarce. It takes quite a bit of digging around to find relevant university research papers describing this phenomena. However, Similar electronic phenomena are well known in other industry segments. The electric charge-up of long, conductive objects and solid structures such as rail tracks, underground pipelines, and power lines, caused by the geomagnetic field, earth magnetic field, are also well known. Similarly, the existence of so-called earth currents and various charging mechanisms of the soil from clouds, thunderstorms, lightning strikes and many other mechanisms have also been well documented. All buildings sitting on the ground over time naturally become part of the electronic environment and obviously become affected by these electronic phenomena. In our lab testing, we could easily recreate and measure some of these electronic aspects. We measure the voltages, the intensity of some of these currents circulating inside the test walls, and from here, we could calculate the electric power generated by damp walls. 
the electric charge stored in the walls through a battery effect. Yes, the electric charge is small, but in comparison to the weight and size of water molecules, it is significant. In order to combat or stop rising damp, we can take two different approaches. 1. Do something physically to the base of the walls in order to block the water from rising. Solid damp proof courses, injected damp proof courses work along this principle. They attempt to block the rise of water. 2. Do something to the environment or influence the environment in a way that water won't rise. Electrosmotic DPCs with the wires at the base of the walls attempt to reverse the electrical potential of the walls in order to reverse capillary movement. Newer magnetic damp-proof courses work along the same idea, but without wires. So we either block the water or prevent the water from rising. Preventing it from rising is a simpler and less invasive solution. But in order to develop a working technology that can dry out walls this way, it requires a much deeper technical understanding of many underlying and related phenomena. For those who don't know what magnetic damp proof courses are, these are electronic systems, some powered, some unpowered, also known as active or passive systems. Mounted on ceilings or walls, which quote unquote magically reverse rising them without any physical intervention to the wall fabric. No cutting, no drilling, no hammering. So such systems are especially suitable for old, listed, or historic buildings where other damp-proof core solutions are forbidden, not an option, or not desired. We are in the process of doing a number of tests in a controlled lab environment about various effects of these magnetic DPCs. However, at this stage, let me just show you one thing. We mentioned earlier the existence of various electronic phenomena in damp walls. For example, the existence of positive charges of voltages. Interestingly enough, once the magnetic damp proof course is installed in the building, within short order, the positive voltage starts decreasing, gradually turning into negative voltage, without us touching anything or doing anything to the walls. This change of sign indicates and this is documented in the scientific literature, that the direction of the water inside the wall capillaries has now changed. Instead of going up, it now goes down. This is an indirect indicator that the magnetic damp proof course has an effect on the walls and the drying out process has started. The use of this technology is also completely safe. It has no negative effect on humans, building structures, or anything else. So stay tuned. As mentioned earlier, we are doing a lot of hands-on testing and experiments about rising damp, the movement of water and salts inside the wall fabric, and yes, the effects of the magnetic DPC. If you are interested in these or other old building related videos, subscribe to our channel to get notified. Thank you for watching. Until next time.